Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Aquarius. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, we're going to, I keep hearing deep dive, deep dive. So I don't know, maybe some of you need a deep dive into what's going on for you right now. For some of you, it's going to be love. It's going to be career. Uh, we'll try to hit all bases or at least most bases. All right. So let's see. Uh, also, I am babysitting my niece. She might interrupt. So anyhow, let's keep going. Let's see. Uh, and she's okay. She's not um alone um she's with the dog and she's seven so she's watching tv right here in the next room i can hear her so for all of you who are, are concerned about that you know i hadn't had a small child in such a long time i don't know how this works <laughs> all right so let's see what's going on for the aquarius here let's see aquarius all right, so let's see how Aquarius is coming to the reading. How is Aquarius coming to the reading? All right, three of wands. So you you could be manifesting. You have a vision. Uh, you have a vision of love. You have a vision of how you want things to come together. It's like you've already done the work. You put things out there. Things are in place. You've done the work. You've been in that creative space. You're trying to take the lead, the lead role in something. You're trying to have enterprise, uh, expansion. It's like, you know that you're at the, uh, maybe the precipice or the brink of having a successful completion of this project that maybe could be you. The project is you, or the project is an actual project. It could be um, a new business, anything, but it's about expansion also. It says that Aquarius with the three of wands in every aspect of life, is doing well you know um let's see how aquarius is coming to the reading how is aquarius coming to the reading um, the eight of cups yeah you have uh, walked away from all that doesn't fulfill you on an emotional level this could be a walking away out of you know self-respect you just feel like you're not getting enough or you feel like maybe your feelings uh your thoughts your you as a person you are being disregarded okay you're not being held in the regard that you feel you should be held in. Also, you feel like something is cyclical. You know, it's like you're on a cycle here and um, you, you become discontent, maybe even bored with this. Like this is, um, it's just unfulfilling. It could be love, it could be career and finance, um, but it seems as if you're walking away and you don't know exactly where you're going to land, but you're on this journey and you're willing to take the journey into the unknown here. You just know that you can't stay here, whatever, wherever here is for you. You know, you can't stay in that place. It could be walking away from a job. I'm um, going to another career. Not exactly sure where you should land. This also could be a uh, walking away from, um, a love relationship. You just aren't, you just don't see it ever being completely fulfilling or you don't see you yourself getting to the highest level of happiness so you left you know something that was it was happening over and over again you know let's see um yeah you you went through like some self-analysis type of situation so you're looking beyond here there's an aquarius who's looking beyond or past what they have involved themselves in and now they're they're past that um Let's see, one more card for how Aquarius is coming to the reading. Okay, you got two cards. Temperance, so it's like you've kind of gained a level of clarity that is bringing you to a place of peace, patience, um, her prosperity too. Um, you also like, a, I don't know if you gained some like spiritual awareness, okay, with the temperance card. You've kind of like leveled out your emotions. You're kind of like in a place of the middle ground here. You're not overly emotional about this walking away or, or about something not turning out 
the way you wanted it to, um, nor are you kind of numb to the situation. It's just more so you know how to govern yourself now. You have, um, you're acting with compassion, holding back, um, maintaining your composure. Then you're also understanding um, truth, honesty, justice, fair, the right thing to do. So it's just like you've come to some balance about something. Um, you balance out your emotions. So, and the temperance card is directly related to the King of Cups. So you're definitely practicing emotional balance. And then you have a Fool card. So it's like you, all right, I'm walking away. I'm practicing emotional balance. I want to be led by spirit, my spirit guides, angels, angelic presence. And I'm going to take a leap of faith in a new direction. It's funny that the Eight of Cups is facing this way and then the Fool is facing this way. So it's like you're definitely changing, shifting course here, going another way, letting something new develop for you, a new development, new direction, newness altogether, following a, a dream. Some would, you know, term it as a pipe dream, but you're following your, following your heart's desire. You're going after something. You're moving forward. Um, this is not an energy of, okay, I'm leaving you alone to go to this guy or I'm leaving this job to go to this job. And it's more so you're kind of figuring it out. You have options for some of you, but you're still trying to, you know, you're waiting here also for uh, downloads, you know, spiritual downloads. You're waiting for um, to be prompted to move because there's patience here, too. So that's that's a good energy. Wow. As I say that, yeah, justice at the bottom of the day, doing the right thing, just getting back in alignment, back in balance here, making the fair decision, being fair. Okay. Let's see how a person that um, you are interested in or they're interested in you, stalking you. I don't know. Let's see how this person feels or how they're coming to the reading. Aquarius. Let's see how this person is coming to the reading here. How is the per okay? That card flipped out. So the Ten of Cups. So they're experien experiencing the highest level of happiness. Or this card can also talk about false happiness, a false sense of happiness, because it is emotions, right? More than you want the Ten of Cups, everybody wants the Ten of Pentacles because it's real. It's been realized, right? The Ten of Cups can also talk about wanting to call a truce. You know, within a family dynamic, um, wanting to call a truce. So your person is at the Ten of Cups. Um, let's see what else is this is about. How does your person, whomever this is, how do they feel right now? Um, the Emperor. So they could be an older masculine energy gentleman, um, an expert in their field, accomplished, stable, um, kind of unwavering, unmovable, stoic. At times, you don't know how this person um, feels about you or feels about the relationship. This person is kind of square, not letting anything in, especially when it comes to feminine energy. It's like they have put everything in its place. Let's see, like they put in maybe their emotions in in the, in a box you know um, like they closed off to something let's see how is this person coming to the reading the six of cups yeah it's like um they're reminiscing they could be nostalgic about the relationship with you aquarius could be dealing with a scorpio um taurus aries piscean it could be anybody all right um so you're dealing with an older gentleman who may have some hangups with childhood memories, childhood altogether. They could be childish. When you talk to this person, the conversation could turn into an argument because of someone's lack of emotional maturity. This person wants to share with you maybe how they feel, but they're so stoic and so rigid with the emperor card coming out. This person feels like it's a good time with you. It makes sense with you. They can let their hair down, if you will. They can be themselves. They're connecting backwards, you know, connecting the dots backwards. So they could be thinking about the connection with you, okay? Um, 
they're trying to declutter. Oh, that's why I got those boxes. So it's like they're trying to declutter their emotions. Maybe when it comes to you, Aquarius. So maybe they're putting things in the respective place. Like they're boxing off things. I don't know. They're trying to like maybe figure out emotionally how they feel. They could, um, let's see. How is this person coming to the reading? How is this person coming to the reading? So thinking very fondly, very lovingly about the connection, but they're not expressing. You have the four swords. So it's like um, you guys could be on a break. It could be a temporary one. Like you guys could, you know, resurface back in each other's lives. Yeah. Um, there could be a separation because somebody felt like there was infidelity whether proven or not proven there's also a level of healing taking a step back healing thinking about the future and how it looks with you or just for themselves something is fragile you know it could fall apart you see with the crows there or the black birds like something could fall apart it could just altogether die um if there's no plan or recourse or course of action taken here, um, it says take a break and then come back to it. It looks like this person is hoping, wishing, praying for the opportunity or for, for you to come back. They're in a very emotional place. Ten of cups, nine of cups, six of cups. But I feel like they're in their head about it and they're trying to make sense of this. They're also keeping all of these emotions to themselves they're not expressing they're definitely not expressing them to you what is the issue between the Aquarius and this person what is the issue between Aquarius and their person all right it flipped in reverse guys none of these cards should be reversed five of cups somebody doesn't feel like they can make it work they don't feel like the relationship is recoverable somebody has come out of feeling sad or resentment or regret or remorse they don't feel anything right now it could be you aquarius it could be the other person somebody wants to come out of seclusion or being um not with you then they could be wanting to come out of missing you they want to talk to you they want to be around you Somebody feels like there is no way we can make this work, though. So um, you guys could be on two different scales here, you know, two different ends. Let's see. What is the issue between the Empress? Yeah, like somebody's closed. Somebody's open. The Empress. Somebody wants to recreate, um, be open, be abundant, be giving, be nurturing, be caring. But another person is kind of closed off to this, not really processing their emotions, not really wanting to go through that grief, just feeling like it's a lost cause. The other person feels like this is their person. This is their archetype. So when you start to use that word, it just it just means that maybe the relationship because we've got the emperor and the empress. This could be mom and dad. This could be husband and wife. This could be a relationship where you guys were together for a very long time. You did make it official at some point. But the empress and the emperor, what rests between you is the five of cups. Somebody feeling like, no, we can't get back. No, we can't do it. What is the energy between Aquarius and their person? Yeah, the five of swords. Um, yeah, somebody just was like, it's bad blood between us. It's, it's just no good. We've also not been talking. We haven't been communicating for a while. Um, there's tension. There's um, jealousy. There's backbiting. There's talking behind the back. There is ulterior motive. Um, somebody just wants to win at all costs. Um, communication turns into some real strong words that you, you really can't walk back uh the five of swords it's just more so somebody feels like there's mentals being played mental games um let's see yes yeah, so somebody just was like this is a no All right what it yeah the hanging man somebody's looking at this from a different perspective taking a step back and asking themselves 
why haven't I really had what I really want? So somebody is really being like, I guess it would be the Aquarius because you did have a lot of cards of self-reflection, uh, gaining perspective. But the perspective is on the side of you. It's like, why haven't I had what I really want? So it's like you looking at yourself, especially with the Eight of Cups, self-analysis, seeing what part you played in this because nobody can do to you what you don't allow. No one can be toxic if you don't keep showing up for the toxicity, you know? So it looks like either the Aquarius or your other person, or maybe the both of you are at a place of reflecting. Uh, it's definitely a pause, a standstill. It's kind of like just letting the energy just move and neither of you are kind of hands on uh, trying to manipulate the energy trying to do things to get the desired outcome you both are in a reflective place or one of you you, you know one of you is i don't know only you know your story um trying to gain a different perspective about this like you know i just can't um yeah some of you are just like i, I can't um I'm sorry, I just got a message and it was kind of, it's not urgent, but it's not, not urgent. Um, anyhow, some of you are just like, I can't keep engaging in this and saying that somebody else is this or that, or that they've done this to me. I, if I keep showing up for it, then I want it. Then I am accepting of it. Therefore, I need to take a step back and just see how things kind of fall into place. This is uh, either what you're doing um, or what another person is doing all right let me send this message um so let's see what the advice is for Aquarius what is the advice for Aquarius dealing with this person the advice all right, judgment, the page of pentacles came out in the star card. So this is, um, the universe wants you to judge accordingly, make the decision and make a fast decision. Are you in or are you out? Are you dealing with this or are you not? You know, because it's like, we're trying to take you to next level, new chapter. But you know, if you're still here, if you're still open to it, if you're still open to conversation, to reconciling to this or that, let us know also, that's what the universe is saying, so that we can we can work accordingly. Um, but the off and on, the in and out, um, or the, yeah, the off and on, the in and out, the constant reviving and not sticking it out, like, you know, it's, it's not conducive to having anything um, of value, having anything to show for, you know, this off and on hot and cold type of relationship that maybe either, you know, you know, that you guys have had or are having, it's not conducive to, um, this card talks about consistency. Okay. Um, the cards say you need to make a judgment to either you're going to relive this, revive this. You're going to forgive this, absolve them of their, their, um, transgressions towards you, whatever they did, whatever they didn't do. Um, either you need to forgive and stick with person or forgive and move on but you need to make a judgment call here it talks about a fast or a snap decision okay so and a decision is to make the incision and then cut away so what are you cutting away are you going to be done with this or are you going to be done with the hurt what are you cutting away here um the page of pentacles here it talks about healthy consistent it talks about um tangible things it talks about manifestation um it just really asks you to make a decision about what you're manifesting be consistent with it so that you can see it come to you aquarius so dreams uh, wishes can be fulfilled here and you can let go and release baggage the judgment also talks about releasing relinquishing no longer holding on to and harboring this now, some of you say, I'm not, I'm over it, I'm done. I, I release them, I forgive them, love and light, blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, you might still be listening to tarot card readings that talk about, you know, this person. Um, you're still open to having a conversation and either reconciling or closing doors or this or that. 
it's like the universe wants you to get to a place of like, look, what are we doing? Because we're kind of off and on with this. Um, and then some of you are going back to the relationship, seeing that a person hasn't changed and then you're jumping out of it. So it's just like you're so up and down. The universe is just wanting you to be consistent because this is not a major arcana. And the two major arcana you have is you, the star card and the judgment. So they want you to just make a judgment. What are you doing, Aquarius? Are you going to be with this person? You want to be with this person, uh, but be consistent in whatever you choose and whatever you manifest here. Cause some of you manifest, I want a life with this person. And then they do something stupid. And it's like, I can't stand the person and I hope they get out of my life. Yeah. It's like you are divided in your heart and in your mind, the three of swords about in your, your verb, how you verbalize things or how you put it out subconsciously to the universe is kind of confusing or it causes, um, dis, you know, miscommunication is what this card talks about. Misinterpretation. Like, you know, are you done? Are you really severing ties with this? Or are you, are you still holding on to the hurt and hoping that you can transform this hurt into something else or that you guys can be together? And, and the beauty of all of this is you get to decide. No one decides for you and there's no right or wrong answer. But you have to be honest with yourself. The hanged man, the eight of cups. You have to be honest with yourself about what it is you really want. If you want this person, even though they've hurt you or you've got to, you know, come to a place of, um, you know, absolving them of all of that. You can't keep holding it. You've got to release the burden. The star card talks about in love relationships, re um, releasing the baggage um, of past relationships, expressing your emotions uh, correctly, accurately, um, healing, coming to that real true healing place and accepting what it is you say you want. Even if it, you know, some people would say it's contrary or, or it's contra yeah, it's contradicting what you said previously, you also are, have contradicted yourself. You know, it is what it is. You know, if you want the person, you want the person. If you don't, you don't. Okay. Um, one second, guys. All right, so let's see. Um, what cards are we going to go? I, I think we, we pretty much like really. So some of you want to know, is this the person for you? Let's see. All right. Let's see. Studying. So it's like you're really trying to get to a place of maybe learning about yourself. I, we said that earlier. Somebody is stalking you. So, and, and with these two cards, like, yeah, somebody's really thinking about you heavily. Yeah, yes. I turned it in the upright before I started shuffling and came back in the reverse. And the question was, is this your person? Yes, in the reverse is a no, right? Um, this person is a con man, a fraud, a liar. You know, it's all talk with them and no action. They're foo-foo frilly. They're um you know, they're they're really um superficial. You know, they want everything to be superficial. They don't want to dive deep. It's just more so they want to keep everything um, on the surface. They don't want to dive deep. And that's funny because we said that earlier when I first opened the reading, I said dive deep. Yeah. What else should the Aquarius know? What else should the Aquarius know? Things should be becoming very clear to you, especially if you have been in this situation for a very long time. You know, 
something is um, it's not healthy. You know, you've been in this situation for a very long time. You should be seeing clearly because um, it's giving you stress or gray hair. You know, your person could be older than you also or vice versa. But it's just it's more so like you know that this is just not going to let, you know, get you what you want. Yeah, maybe the masculine feels like the feminine is angry you know but um and somebody's just plain old addicted to you because they're um they're comfortable with you they see value in you aquarius they see growth with you maybe even money wow and they feel safe with you but they've got complacent not giving you anything Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, this is what this you have been, Aquarius, kind of hard headed. This person has been showing you who they really are. You and this person could go through bouts of weeks with no communication and then jump back into it. And that's because they have other people. This is just going to lead to failure. You're not going to get what you want. Okay. Um, let's see what you should be moving forward to Aquarius. Cause uh, this is not it. They're not even offering anything. It's just like this person wants you to come back like you always do. Or like you always, you both do. And you know, it'll be that. And, you know, it'll just be a cycle with that eight of cups. So you need to volunteer how you feel. You need to talk about how you feel. Um, voluntarily, I heard voluntarily walk away. Like, don't be forced to walk away. Don't wait for one more last straw. Um, yeah, keep the faith that you're going to get what you want. That, um... You deserve it. Yeah, take the next step now. Have the courage to do so. Get into that uh, sober way of thinking. Maybe you have been kind of bogged down with these. Um, you know, maybe you were too emotional about this or thinking about it from an emotional place or maybe even from a lustful place. Some of you need to be focused more on the self and self-employment and joining in with networking groups. Um, people who can bring opportunity. Some of you are focusing on love because it takes, you know, it takes, um, it takes your focus off of career and finance where you have to make some major decisions. You know, so it's, it's like an escape almost for some of you. Some of you too focused on love. And right now the cards say you need to be focused on you, your employment, what it looks like. And you need to get around like-minded individuals would join in. Yeah. Um, memories keep you tied to this person or vi vice versa. Some of you have a windfall coming. Okay. Don't let this person or somebody like mess this up. All right, so um, let's see what we got going on here. And then we're going to close this out, Aquarius, for uh, career and finance. What should Aquarius be focused on, career and finance? So we found out that this is not your person. This was just maybe a lesson you needed to learn. You need to move on. You need to, for some of you, and then some of you are going to, you know, kind of transform that. So in career and finance, there's a lot of overthinking. Get out of your head and into your heart. What is your heart's desire? That fool card. Follow your heart's desire here. Um, don't overthink it. Then you'll do nothing. Um, soulmate client. Yep. We got self-employment and join in. There's somebody who you're going to kind of come in contact with and you'll have you resonate on a soul level. Also, they will bring you business. Okay. Um, attract. Start to manifest and attract the people that you want um, as clients, as uh, patrons of your business, of what you do. Let's see. 
Wow, take the leap of faith with the fool card there. That's crazy. Um, don't feed your fear. You know, feed your faith. And we, we have that. Keep the faith, take the leap of faith, the fool card, and gratitude. Give thanks in all that you receive, uh, in all that you have been blessed with. Be grateful for the least. You know, therefore, um, if you're grateful over the least, you'll definitely be grateful over the many you'll do right with it with windfall card here um you have power aquarius you are the expert do know that you are the expert you've done the work in terms of career and finance these are career and finance cards so um aquarius i hope that this reading resonated for you um go over to the website book there some of you dealing with a lot of distractions little distractions because i was really distracted in this reading um but I pressed through, right? I was tempted to kind of cut the uh, video off and start again. So in, in whatever you're dealing with Aquarius, you're going to be met with small distractions. As soon as you're met with them while you're trying to focus on what it is you need to focus on. Remember this reading say, oh, she said I was going to be met with distractions. Just press forward. Don't allow yourself to be completely distracted. Handle certain things and move forward. Um, it looks like you've got greatness coming towards you, Aquarius. This love relationship is just a distraction. You're not going to garner much here, gain much here. I don't know. Um, for some of you, it could be different. The readings change from day to day. Come back tomorrow. It could be different. You could be in love tomorrow. I don't know. Um, that's what I have. Many blessings to you. Take care.